Hello, hello. We've got Triple E or Travis. We've got versing Matt Alix, which you just saw win the last game. Um, we're going to be playing at 17 points, and we've got uh, Spider Infected and... Sorry. What we got? Um, Superpowered Scoundrels and Spider Infected at 17. So, be interesting to see what they pick. We've got Web Warriors versus Wakanda. Barncat, you with me, mate? Well, I suppose so. <laughs> Can't go ahead and find myself a game over on no other server, so... Blow it. Love it. Uh, give me one sec, doing the last share, and we are good to go. I might even, uh, I might bump out after all. Just got a DM. Go for it, mate. It's all good. I'm happy to ride solo. Good luck, mate. Get W. If you don't... Uh, that's what I do. Hey, so, uh, I'm running an amazing streak on a mall list here. Uh, I have nine tables, uh, in a row. Ooh. On a spicy Guardians Maw list. So I'm going to go put that on a line try to go for magical number 10. Yeah, make it number 10. Uh, if you don't, just know, never show your face in here again. Right. Uh, <laughs> no, nah, it's all good. Good luck, mate. I want to hear more about it because I, I quite like him anymore. Like, I think he's a little bit slept Space on. Space Guardians. Yeah, he's uh, a little bit weak, but he's he's good. Like, he is good. Let me, uh, let me shoot you my list. Yep, please. Uh, Exalted Tilapia says it's the... Second best attrition list he's seen besides his own Domamu Swarmamu list. Ugh. So disgust. Uh, it. It's it's I pretty it. good. He's got some spice going there with those guys. So I love it. All right, mate. Cheers, Good mate. Later. Yeah, yeah. Cheat. Yep, cheated. Did it. All right, round time on. You beauty. So, lads are choosing what they want. I know that I just heard Travis saying that he's unsure about his Wakanda into this squad, so it should be interesting in that regard. Obviously, uh, Matt's got Web Warriors, but he can go down the path of Amazing Spider-Man if he wants, so he technically has two leaders, even though it's probably not going to happen. Here we go. Ooh, four wide. Four wide for Travis. I like that. Hulk and Juggernaut. That can be quite difficult for him to deal with. So, very spicy. Very, very spicy. Dashboard's up. Good to go. In the old chat. Oh, Matt, I will give him credit where credit is due. He has been a very consistent player. He's come to all three of these tournaments and he has absolutely done, I think he's done top four in all three. If he hasn't, he was fit. Travis with priority. Toad, Nick Fury, Hulk, and Juggernaut. So, seeing red, field dressing, do you know who I am? Follow me, Medpack. So, we're going to be unaffiliated here, and I like that. Bringing in some real heavy hitters and some good control, good tactics cards. Missing a leadership, which does suck, but it's fine. Looking at Spider-Man, Ghost Spider, Moon Knight, Black Cat, Lizard, and Toad. So, we've pivoted away from Amazing Spider-Man, which is what he's run in the last two games, and we've changed that into Toad and Lizard, which is quite strong, especially for Spider Infected, where you can just go really wide. Perfect. Stream summary is up. We are G for G. Right, so obviously Juggernaut's gonna have to grab one of these things. Luckily, and Unluckily and luckily for Travis that you can only hold one of these at a time. He does have priority, which means he can actually grab two of these off rip. I think he has priority. I think Travis has priority because he's got four down, right? 
which is very interesting because it means that he can go he can grab that with fury and then the shield agents can actually grab this one here oh nick fury is good man nick fury is very good guys if you're watching this hopefully we get to see some good stuff with him but he's decent i hate it but absolutely despise it when terrain is deployed in a location to be as inconvenient as possible one two why are both of those there they are only purely there to screw with the deployment line Quite like Travis's squad, so both of his five threats, well, his five and his six threat, have the ability to reposition without having to use a movement action, which can be very handy in getting around the spider infected pushes, sorry, advances that will be happening to him. Round one, here we go. Fury going to the center. No, should be the Fury's things. Size two, agents are size two, nice. So we're gonna see them grab the center, which is cheeky, because if they if they decide to kill them, then he can just, you know, drop them back here somewhere and be incredibly annoying. And we should see Nick Fury grab, grab the other side. So Travis will grab three of these straight away. Extremely strong. That's actually kind of filthy to be honest because he's got a four wide squad right like four wide squads typically not super objective focused but fury and his agents allows him to get some real shenanigans going size four copter potentially could be irritating because somebody could sit in here and be on can't see him There we go. Head nose power phase. Sorted. What is this doing right now? How have I done that? What just happened? How have I done that? Does anyone know how to fix this? This is actually unbelievably irritating. I'll just deal with this and I'll deal with it after. So if you can't tell, what it's doing is normally WSAD is like up, down, left, right. When I hit W right now, it zooms me. The mouse wheel scroll should be zoomed. Should I get into a good spot and we're staying there? So Toad taking that back, that point there, and I like that play. Leaves Juggernaut free to go and contest the other scoundrel which means that travis is looking to contest four out of five hit p maybe twice no same problem no clue is it telecasting I hate this as well. I absolutely despise that. We fixed it though. We fixed it. We're sorted. Somehow, probably not twice has fixed it. But whatever. We're good now.
Lizard coming over to grab that. Probably a good idea because if you put a Lizard over there, at least you got somebody who can take the Juggernaut Punch. Freeze up Ghost Spider to pivot to something else. So I'm Travis and I'm playing Hulk, by the way. I'm absolutely going to double move and, and teleport myself onto that point where Toad is. Like, I'm just getting super aggressive. I'm getting ridiculously aggressive here because you need to remove bodies ASAP. You cannot let Matt have six wide. Five, five versus four, you can handle. Six versus four, you're starting to be in that danger zone where he can hold activations where you can't do anything about it. Love it. Pass. No more objectives to grab, so there's no reason to get crazy. Moon Knight. Extra attack dice. I mean, you can just walk up. I mean, those... those the shield agents can't even secure that point, so you can just walk up and take it off them. Does you leave yourself in the danger zone though, where Jugs can now pivot across to come get you? On for him. One, two, three, one. That's dead shield agents. Fully expect him to drop this in this direction for Jugs to sweep up. So, shield agents have done their job. Fury is probably going to start to look to swarm them. Oh, we're going to go for Hulk. I like this. Black Cat really is much less effective in this game mode for Spider Infected being a single hold only objective. So, yeah, there is no world that that blood, there is no world that you come and pick up that hammer, the uh, the Spider Infected from Travis there. You can grab it if you want, but you're going to get hold. So we've got Jugs to go, so it's kind of nasty, right? You've got to be very careful as Matt. You've got Jugs and Hulk ready to fire off, so you can't overextend. If you overextend, you're just going to get obliterated. Miles and Black Cat. So Jugs can safely move here. I would argue that... A Hulk activation is probably the right one to do here. Hold, yeah, maybe jugs. Black Cat currently being advanced R&D from Moon Knight, which is just, I think Matt's done that in every single stream game we've done today. So, it's a good play because it lets, like Black Cat will have three power going into next turn. Or she can get a long move and a stagger off this round if she wants to. The option is there for her. But you can just move, move her, but I will not do it. Not, not without priority. Travis is not going to be upset having a, a black cat in punching range of a Hulk. 
Especially not a Hulk that's gonna start next round with five power. Five power. Five power means that he can reposition strike and thunderclap if he wishes. I don't think he will. I think he'll just double strike. Immune to stagger? No. Immune to poisoning and poison and stun. There you go. We're gonna put a stagger on that Hulk. Honestly, she's just so broken. Like, in what world can Black Cat, who is essentially just a burglar, do this to Hulk? Don't even need to see it. It'll be one damage. Two blocks, four hits, one damage, and a stagger. It's crazy to me that he is not immune to stagger like Hulk. That's actually nuts to me. We got the wild, so we're gonna elusive back on point. On the upside, she can't do that next round, not unless she gets fed power. So it's only every second around that she can do that. These are the undefeated players, yes, Captain. Nice. Is that size four? Size four, so he doesn't blow it up, I don't think. Plus three. Nice. Good play. I think someone actually understands their character. Nice. Apparently contesting that point as well. Set yourself up within two of Moon Knight, ready to punch. I don't mind this. Actually, that's a very sneaky play there. So what he's doing is he's utilizing this terrain and Juggernaut's entire body here to attempt to stop Matt from reaching the point. He's trying to block it because he'll have to move and then he won't have another tiny bit available. So he might actually successfully block him here, which means Travis will be getting six to Matt's Four. It's pretty tough to block someone though. Especially someone with like war crawler and stuff. He's unaffiliated, yeah. Gotta love that range one glitch for TTS. Technically can't place there unless you can place flat.
But we do have the Bear Star and the Empowered Miles, so he can absolutely go for a Weblorn swing here. Looking to contest over on Toad. Very sneaky. I like that. Grunts are dead, yep. They did their job though. Yeah, the helicopter is a massive pain on this one. And these fence, and these barrels, and this car. You'll notice that this side of the board has essentially nothing that's like too annoying to stop you from deploying, but this side just ruthlessly screws you. 5-4, I think it is. Round two. One second, Pulley needs a judge calling. I will BRB, guys. Be right back. Just gonna mute myself for a second. I'm back. Sorry about that. Quick judgment rule, judge rule on a juggernaut play, and we're good to go. So, what have we done? We are doing the uh, spider infected, and it looks like no one except for Toad copped it. Toad retreating out of that area. I like that because there's literally no reason for Toad to try and hang around there. He's just going to get railed. Also, sadly doesn't make it to that point, but it allows Hulk and Nick Fury to move um, off of that point and start getting aggressive. So Moon Knight activation coming up. Gains an additional power. I'll be careful on hitting this. Um, you do one damage to Toad, and he he slippers onto that point, and you can unleash Hulk and unleash Nick Fury. And that's not on the point either. Jugs are still blocking it like a champion. And then we got a triple block. So he's safe. Does get the rapid fire though. One hit and one block. Gains power, but that's the end of that. Wasn't sure about that activation, to be honest. Toad's probably the more difficult of the targets there to kill because you're actually going to do Travis a favor letting Toad take the power to advance on that point. 
Hulk coming in. He is going to... Shake his stagger. Oh, sad Hulk. Jug's looking to come up a ghost spider. Big fan of this. Needs to be careful because he's going to actually nail Moon Knight if he's not careful. He's going to advance, though. So we don't care. A dice strike into Ghost Spider. Yep. Uh, three, three hits, double block. Triple block, zero damage. You just slide back, to be honest. You slide back and just take that point. Literally has nothing that can pull you off that point. So Jugs owns that point forever. Until somebody wants to come over and try and get rid of him. Nice. Destroys that makeshift barrier. Thank God. Bit of a sad juggernaut activation, but it's okay. Hulk and Nick Fury to go. I would expect that Toad and Black Cat will be the last two activations done by Matt. Probably bringing in Ghost Spider right up here to try and have a go at this Toad. Again, I don't think this is the correct play. Sorry, I was getting a mad stretch. I'm not a massive fan of this, right? None of these characters are capable, unless they're unbelievably lucky, of one hitting Toad. At which point, you are going to give him the power to move on that point. There we go. I'm going to pull him closer. So webline pull. Okay, and we're gonna punch as well. Two. Two blocks. Wait. Is that a juggernaut? It wasn't a juggernaut. Gonna trade her out. She's gonna go down there and get ready for Miles to come back. Still favor to Travis, I think. He's still capturing four. Yeah, and we're going to get a punch on this Moon Knight now. Who's activated, so he, won't have to, he doesn't have to fear about powering anyone up or swinging priority. Take the stagger. A3 power for that. And let's have a punch. Out of range. Sad, sad, sad Hulk. Throw the size for building at him. So that now you're do you know, do you know who I am? He's online with jugs. Yep, two power, size four building.
Hmm. I think that that is untidy. Probably could have done something with that and drawn out a uh, brace for impact early. Hmm. Not in range of seeing red either, I would say, from that quick measurement. Hmm. Needs to absolutely make sure that that black cat. Like I would have gone black cat personally, right? I know, I know, I know. You don't kill us. You're gonna stagger you, but he needs to be um thinking about getting rid of this black cat at some point because if she can control that Hulk. Like just every second turn, control Hulk, just without anything else happening. It's interesting, Travis went tall on this double wide price. I sort of think you want more bodies. Um, I think so. I mean, Hulk and Juggernaut, right? It's not just Hulk, it's Hulk and Juggernaut. And most lists can barely handle one. It is annoying that Black Cat is doing this stagger shenanigans here, but this is what we're talking about, by the way. You do the exact amount of damage for him to just, oh, thank you, you've done me a favor. That's why I did not want to see attacks going into Toad there. That's big now, because now it means it doesn't need to come back to this point. Means that Hulk can now push forward, Nick Fury can now push forward. They've both got exceptional attacks. Nick Fury's got Pierce and Bleed across most of his attacks. Yeah, Pierce, Pierce, Bleed. Hulk just throws insane amounts of dice. I mean, honestly, Juggernaut can probably duel the four of them up there. And then this bottom side is trying to deal with the Hulk and Nick Fury. I would probably expect Nick Fury to possibly pivot to the center to help out Hulk. And bring in the shield agents then you can also probably between the shield agents sorry juggernaut and nick fury you can always lock that point out so no one else can even sit on it anyway they just can't fit into it The Toad Black Cat Lizard. Lizard's activation, I mean, sadly, Lizard, I think, should just be sitting there and holding that point. I don't think you get much out of him for one more turn until you can get a potential throw. Get a long range hit. Nice. Might be able to generate some free power. He is not. Oh, it's almost powerless. He is not. The wild, what does it do? Is there a size restriction on it? Yes, can't touch something on it. Like specifically Travis's list, two of his four characters are almost, like one of them is completely non-controllable. Juggernaut can't be pulled by webline pull or anything like that. And Hulk can kind of be controlled but if he's not, he's just going to go insane. So it could be interesting. Pass from Travis. So Nick Fury. We either got Toad or Black Cat to go.
I'm not sure if it matters, to be honest. Agreed, yeah. So that's why Travis, I think, has picked the Scoundrels in particular. Like, Wakanda is what he's actually running, but a lot of his characters are very versatile, like, very, very, very tanky. And then you add Scoundrels on this, and he's, you know, borderline immortal. And then you top it off with a lot of his stuff, his auto push. So, you know, it doesn't actually need or need to worry about dealing damage or whatever to get the uh, repositions he requires or power or whatever. It's just look at something that gets pushed. Toad moving to contest. Don't mind that. It makes it 4-4. Four, four. Assuming that Nick Fury now goes up and blitzes Toad here, to be honest. I like this. Nick Fury is probably going to blitz him. If Nick Fury generates an additional power as well, I assume he's going to play his shield agents as well. Two with a one with a pierce. Uh, currently doing two damage to Toad. Two damage. Web Warrior reroll. One damage. So pay two power, we are now going to see shield agents getting dropped in. What's the distance of it? Place it within three of this character with activated token may immediately interact with one extract token as part of your squad. I like that. He's ready to do a double attack into miles, two into miles from that, plus Nick Fury into it as well. Nasty. Captain, awesome, you legend. Thank you for subscribing with the Prime, mate. All those Prime subs, even though they're free for you guys, means I get a little bit extra on this channel. means it keeps the channel going, right? Let's me do cool stuff like, I don't know if you guys saw this earlier, but this is one of the tokens that we've done up for the tournament prizes for the guys. So that's the Acrylic 5 power token. Acrylic 3 power token. Acrylic single power token. And participation prize is you get a couple, as in three, of these acrylic tokens. Hard to see though in that one. And then because the fellow that did it for me is a legend, it also gave me an acrylic five power for myself. And an acrylic, sorry, three wounds. An acrylic three and five wounds. They are very, very, very cool. Black Cat. Coming up. So we got the next round, 9-9. Nine, nine. Uh, that is the Spider Infected coming up. So we've got Toad pulled forward. Hulk pulled back. Nick Fury. And there's this to be blank. Oh, three from three. That is savage. Sometimes that's what decides these games. Absolutely pisses me off. Spider, like spider infected. Well, it's just going both ways. Send lizard into the ether. Toad blank, sad face. I'm kind of happy with that though, because he's Toad sitting next to Travis Jugs. Yeah, they're so good. So good to see a top level match without Voodoo on the table. Mate, tell me about it. I fucking hate it. Voodoo, I bet like Black Cat's still here. So like part of the problem is still on the table. Black Cat has had the single most effective turn the entire game in three rounds so far, which was putting a stagger onto Hulk or doing nothing, just free stagger.
Travis curbing his blood bloodlust there did not want to attack Black Cat and deal a damage to her so that she can get more power to steal. Currently she can stagger but she can't steal so stagger is annoying but currently Travis owns three and he's locking down uh, I think he was locking down two points, one point then so as long as he can lock down this, I mean this is what he needs to secure right? Nick Fury needs to come up here or one of those guys needs to come up here, punch on a Black Cat Secure these three, ignore those two, and just batten down the hatches. I mean, realistically, Travis is going to 12 this round. Matt is going to 11. So if Travis can cap four scoundrels, he wins. I, I suspect we're going to do a round four. Unless something goes horrifically wrong for both of them, but yeah. It's crazy to me that only two damage has been dealt this entire game, and we're round three. This is why I wanted Travis to play the throw last turn from his Hulk because now with priority he'd be able to do you know who I am and pimp slap either Moon Knight or Toad. Probably Toad because that's the objective, right? Toad can't do his slippery away from um, throw damage. So I think he's missed a bit of an opportunity there to draw out the brace for impact. Instead now he's got to deal with it, which is even more annoying. Ghost Spider, possibly looking to see if she can push Toad off the point. It's interesting that Travis, for two out of his three priority rounds, has opened with Toad to get him out of trouble or to do whatever with him. Going for the push. Ghost Spider rolls just an obscene amount of wilds. I mean, she gets the shield agents, which she's got to be happy with. That does limit some of Nick Fury's offensive capabilities. Going jugs, nice. We're sliding into who? The toad. Well, we're advancing, sorry. Large attack. Large block. Matt's had some very big blocks today. Two versus five. Toad takes three. He's going to live though. That's the key point there. He will get. He will escape. Assuming that he now does his uh, shenanigans. And this is what I was talking about with the brace for impact, right? This should be a dead toad, but instead, because we've taken the I'm trying to be cute with it approach. There's nothing you can do. It's just going to brace. Ready? But brace. And you're going to trade tactic card for tactic card instead of trading super power for tactic card, which is infinitely more powerful. Yeah. 
They both know Toad is the best character. Trap moves to Toad first, man attacks him first. Well, yeah, he's just an annoying character, isn't he? Throw Moon Knight long. That's better. Still enough that Toad has to play Brace. If I'm Toad, I'm not. I'm not rolling this. We're actually rolling this. Well, that's not the play. I, I don't care what anyone says, like it's worked. That's not the play there. That's not that's not the play. You don't just roll three dice to do get three dodges and just have faith. You play the brace there because the odds are way too high. You roll three dice, your average is one. Therefore, you take two damage. Toad Dazes drops his um, spider infected. That's how that plays out on average a lot. I don't know if people just don't know the dice odds, but it infuriates me when they... I mean, this is me as a player. This is not me as a commentator. Me as a commentator, I don't carry away. Me as a player, it infuriates me when they don't know their odds and they just do it and it works out. Moon Knight, extra move action. It's nice. It kind of actually is perfect because it moves him back to the center point. So Matt's going to cap one, two, three. If he caps a fourth, takes him to 10, 11, 12, 13. He needs to cap three spiders and four points. So he actually needs a power to get put onto Black Cat. You better see an all webbed up play coming. Interesting, we're doing the spender. I thought for sure he'd all webbed up. Needs Travis to be slowed down completely. I believe this is Toad, I want to say. Survives, I'm assuming. So Matt does his shenanigans first. And then Travis can pay for Slippery to go wherever he wants. And he absolutely needs to go like down here to let him secure that point or over here somewhere. Just to need to get safe. Travis will be playing his um, <clears throat> Flippery. I'll probably still move down here to stop Black Cat from getting me. Well, what's left? Yeah, see, that's care. You gotta be really careful here because Miles can move jump. Uh, it just says aim container. Assume three. If I am Travis, I am putting a med pack on Toad this round. Fury going into Ghost Spider. We're doing a top attack. Fury special with a pierce. Five dice the pierce. Three hits. Aim sized. Yeah. Three damage in the ghost spider. One power gain, I think, for that. It's just fine because he does that. He literally can now pay for med pack on Toad, which I would be very much considering.
That is a dazed ghost spider, which is good. Med pack from Fury into Toad. Lovely. Actually decent for Travis. So he's he's got Hulk to go. We can hold him until the second last until the last activation. So I would assume that Matt is probably gonna get two to three activations right now back to back. What can you do with them? We would assume that Lizard is going to come into the middle. Toad would need to stay out there. It's too low. And med pack Toad if he wants to, but I don't think it's worth it. I think you just leave him out there and trade Lizard in. Miles will probably jump, kick Fury, and walk back, I would assume. And Black Cat Roth possibly will move to here or something. But I mean, he's still cap four and deny that one. So Travis will be capping four points, and Matt will cap one, two, three, four, five. So Matt will go to 13, 14, and Travis to 13. So what does Hulk do to stop that? So Hulk could possibly, I would say Hulk is probably moving to contest the Black, Zach, Black Cat side of the board since she's going to have three power next turn anyway. So therefore, as long as she's activated by the time Hulk goes, you don't care. If Matt's savvy, he holds Black Cat till final activation. Pass from Travis. I think Black Hat needs to be the final activation. See if you can hang it out to try and get some bait. She should be able to survive one punch from Hulk. Should. It's correct about that. So... Next will be... Probably Miles. Savvy, it's Miles. Hasn't picked it. It'll be Black Cat. And it'll save Miles for the end. But Miles can't can't kick anyone off that point anyway. Because there's two on that point now. Yeah, I mean, contesting will be good, but the reason I say attack, you know, he's looking at Miles now anyway, so he can't attack Black Cat because it'll be horrible for him. But the reason I say attack is if she's activated, she has three power next round anyway. The steal's happening. Can't stop it. So therefore, you may as well just punch on, give her as much power as she wants, who cares, right? Just try and kill her. If you daze her this round, try to kill her next one. Good to go. If she's the final activation, then he needs to think of someone else to go for. And he needs to contest with Hulk on that point. So we got a stagger coming out. Oh god, I like that so much. Wild, of course there is. There's always a wild. Black Cat and Ghost Spider. Guaranteed wilds. One damage and a stagger. She will move back to that point. I think Hulk does a small move there. And that's it. Setting up Pryo next round though, which I don't mind that. No field dressing on his side. No spider trackers because she's tapped out of power.
Bait the brace out. Throw this size 3 that Moon Knight's on. Remove his cover. Save the size 4. Or you just yeet her medium. That works as well. Nice. So it denies the point. So Matt will capture one, two, assuming three, plus two. So Matt's gonna get five, and Travis is gonna get one, two, five, five, juice. Tight game. There is a follow me online for Travis next round. So if he wants to, he's got a decent ability here to potentially try to do some like Corvus Proxima style attrition. You know, Hulk can just punch range three on follow me, I think. So if Hulk can generate up to six power, he'll start the round five. Punches Moon Knight twice, hopefully dazes him. Um, if he doesn't, you know, throw him into Black Cat or whatever. Throw him somewhere, get rid of him. Um, potentially look at a follow me onto Jugs, but I don't actually think that does anything, to be honest. A follow me on Jugs. He's got... I don't really have anything good to hit. You don't want to punch Lizard. You're not, gonna, you're not doing six damage to Blizzard in a turn. No way. Not with his current setup. Maybe Fury. Maybe. If he rolls really high and gets pierced. Matt has to capture this point. If he doesn't, he's one down. And that could be catastrophic with this how tight this race is. Jugs chase down Toad. I think so. This is probably what's going to happen. Get that spider. <laughs> Get that booty. Uh, what power we got on Miles? So Miles has enough to make Jugs drop it anyway with his Venom Blast. But I mean, that's 5-5. Five, five. One, two. Isn't it? 5-5. Five, five. Nice. Round four. I am busting to go to the bathroom, so I'm gonna go to the bathroom. They're gonna do their spider infecteds. I'm gonna wait around. I wanna see this. It's gonna hold. Your boy's gonna hold. Fury. Safe. Huge. Hulk wants to be safe here. Moving. Where is he moving? Surely it's away. I mean, it's Hulk. He doesn't care. He just has to spend three to teleport back. That doesn't make sense to me. Got to do Toad. I only saw Travis roll twice. Cool. Bad. So you got two blanks and one move.
So Moon Knight is irrelevant. He holds nothing. Uh, Black Cat has got a single power, so she is irrelevant. She's a pathetic test. I'm saying I'm just gonna close the door. Looking at follow me, which is range three. Yes, it is. So we're looking at a potential kill moon knight um, into a juggernaut play, but like realistically, I mean, it's it's a good play, right? It stops any ability that Matt has for contesting points on this side of the board, which is good. Yeah, it's always good. Hulk smash. Two, three, four into zero blocks. Five. So a single reroll is not enough to save him. So Day's Moon Knight generates four power. It's actually kind of a big deal because that's enough power for him to pay for follow me, but not to steal on that point as well. That's why I hate irregular terrain. It's so annoying. Look at it. Yeah, it looks sick, except for the fact that it's just insanely frustrating. And look at the hitbox on it. So I would argue that that's fine. Which they already have done that before. The hitbox on this thing is just massive. He's not even sitting on There's literally nothing he's sitting on. So follow me coming out. The jugs activates, but like, what does this jugs activation do? Like, if we actually think about it, what are we actually going for here? Punch into Ghost Spider. I guess. I mean, you try and just kill as many things as possible on this side of the board to contest as many things as you can. Yeah, I agree. We're looking at the frog. He's only got two health left. Spider tracker popping off. Really nice. She's injured though, so you don't care. Except for she can actually displace two characters a turn. And this is what I was saying, like like we we're talking about, you should go for the go for toad. Just go for toad. Take his point. Jugs is now worth two. And dice, we're looking at a spender. It has not rolled well. Into lizard, he's currently taking two. Does he roll a wild? No. no. That's a bit of a misplay, I think. I think the mis the, like that's what I was talking about. I think the misplay here is this thing, this like follow me it just didn't need to happen it's cool but it actually didn't need to happen you know like we talked about or like 
these two are okay. Like, there's potential move, lizard throw, move back, which is annoying. And then there's the ghost water pull. But you can time their activation towards the end, right? Like he's like he just gets towed there, boom, no worries, awesome. Can't toad can't spider tracker, and you take his point. It's two VPs to so jugs because, like you hold that activation as well, right? Because you got Miles sitting there with a the venom blast. So unless he wants to hold Miles to the very last activation. You know, Jugs can sit there, he's taking no damage. He can sit there just taking punishment all day. Boy, that. We are going to be having a six die swing into Fury. Not bad, not bad. Currently a blanked out Fury as well. Total of four damage going through. Cover means he takes one, takes three damage. That's actually not what I expected him to do at all with Ghost Spider there. I expected him to just completely reposition the both of them. Webline pull. And then possibly another attack. So plus two, plus two, I think it is. This might be the spender, I'm not sure. That is massive. Takes three. Wow. That is quite possibly game, to be honest. Seeing red pops off. Again, no one's in, like no one of values in range. Toad is it? He should do it though, because if his toad can tongue lash here, you'd be able to push where she can't move anymore. If you get a push on toad. We're not going to go for it. He could have denied, potentially denied that. I mean, he'll get the energy right, but he just, all he needs to do is one damage and a push. And he gets both of those things. And I suspect that's game. Travis has a Toad activation to go. He can get a Field Dress on Toad, maybe, to get Fury back in the fight. But, not holding high hopes on that. Fully expect if Travis wants to attack with Toad and then go for a field dress, right? The field dress needs to be at the start of his next turn because if he field dresses before that, then Lizard walks in and throws Fury into Toad. And that's dead Fury again. So here's the next problem. If he activates Toad and generates a power from Ghost Spider and then decides, oh, well, I'll... Um, 
I'll hold until my next activation. Well, Lizard just walks up anyway and throws Toad out of range two and Fury no longer gets field dressed. So honestly don't think the field dress is the play there. Hmm, pass. Here comes Lizard. Lizard going greedy on the spender. I think that's a massive mistake. I think that you can just do miles, hold Lizard's power for the throw, come and throw a toad at the end, guaranteed. Cancel the victory point, you gain the victory point, and you win. Not that you're already not winning already, but you can win harder. Doing two damage to Juggernaut accomplishes nothing. Slow doesn't do anything. Yep, two damage in the jugs. So you just allowed Travis to do the field dressing combo. That's the weird part there. You've actually just allowed, you've let him off the leash. So now Toad attacks Ghost Spider, generates the power, immediately field dresses Nick Fury, and then all he needs is for Miles to not come over and kick him into oblivion. With an attack roll like that, it ain't gonna happen. Block, block. That's what happens when you rely on a two threat. It's GG, I think. Matt gaining three, four, five. Travis gaining one, two, three. 16, 18. That's it, guys. That's the end of this tournament. Um, back in a couple of weeks, organizing for when the Invitational is. So it's basically all the top four competitors. And then if once we have that sorted, there might be some additional invites going out, but it should be a bit of fun um, for the Invitational. So all the best players from all the three tournaments we've run will be competing again. So that'll be good to go. Um, but aside from that, that's it for me, guys. And I'll talk to you later. Peace out.